So here is the fat. Click on it and simulations physics. And then over here it says quantum phenomena. So that's what I'm going to use. And it's waiting a little bit. Don't know why it's so. There we go. Slow. There it is. There's the photoelectric effect. Turns out. Click on it again. All right. There it is. Maybe it's the download part of it. In any case, I downloaded it here. I also open it in um, Internet Explorer uh, because others might not handle that. Anyway, here it is. So off the screen, I'm going to change this to copper, let's say. Actually, right here is what I just did. So I clicked on copper. But this is what I need. Turn the intensity all the way up. There we go. Push this one all the way into the ultraviolets. There the energy. There's enough energy from each of the photons to kick out one of the electrons. By the way, it's not the photons we see. It's the electrons that we see across, going across. And then here I'm going to go here and we can see that they actually turned away because simply because this one is negative now and this one is positive. So the electrons, of course, being negative. Okay, I'm going to put this here to six volts and there we go. And now I have a certain amount of current that's still going through. But I'm going to get this down to zero amps, and there it is. So at six volts, forget about the negative here, at six volts, it's zero amps. Okay, I'm going to push this over to five volts. There we go. And again, I have some current here, so I'm going to get this down to zero. And right there, 130 nanometers. Four. Again, some current is flowing and push this over here and it looks like 146 nanometers. Three. And get the current down to zero and there it is, 163 nanometers. Two. Ah, oh, it's a little tough. Oh man, my, I'm getting a cramp here in my hand. There we go, two volts. And this one here, and there it is, 185 nanometers, and those are the measurements.